Your baby's so afraid. Why? I just can't wait there, so he's crying. Oh. So I was waiting with him, so he's crying right there. Really? Hmm. Well, good morning, you guys. So today we are going to Costco grocery store, like all of our usual Saturday morning um, errands. And I figured I might as well bring you along, show you kind of what we've been shopping for, what we're going to be um, getting in the spring and the summer. Like our diet totally changes throughout the year. Spring, summer, it's very similar because we're grilling a lot, trying to eat healthy. And then as we get into the fall and the winter, we're doing like lots of holiday dishes and like warm soups, things like that. So, I'm gonna bring you guys with today, show you the chaos, and yeah. Would you guess where we are? We have an issue. Okay, so I'm trying the cloud caramel macchiato today, and I've heard like mixed reviews on this. I've heard that it's really good, but it's just like not a lot of coffee. So I knew when I got it that I was gonna get the venti so that I could like get the most coffee out of it, but okay. First impressions. Ooh, what is that? That's really good. That good coffee, Mom? Oh dang. Mommy, that good coffee. Oh dang, that's really good. Okay, so now that we are in the parking lot, I'm going to eat my I got I just got the chicken burrito bowl. And um, I'm going to pump. So what I did is I brought everything in like my separate diaper bag for pumping. Can I see that uh, fork? I brought this um, diaper bag with all of like my pumping stuff. Um, oh, this part fell off. And I brought this, which is a car adapter um, that is for my Spectra. So I'm probably just gonna keep my Spectra pump in the backpack, hook it up like in the like plug-in thing over here with this, and then pump away. So little hack if you guys like don't have one of those like um, hands-free ones or don't have like a battery pack one. Um, this is my first time trying it. I'll let you know if it works, but Seems like it will work to me. I don't know. I'll let you know. So I feel like that worked pretty well. I got almost four ounces and they weren't, I'm not even wearing a, like an actual pumping bra. I just kind of like stuck the things in there, the phalanges in there, like in my shirt. And then I had like um, a cover over. So if I could do anything um, to change that and like make it just like a little bit more convenient, um, I think. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order these, like the free me cups. I have heard like mixed reviews on them that if you like don't boil boil them and like seal them um, the right way, they can leak on the bottom. But I've seen a lot of vi videos here on YouTube where like nursing and pumping mamas love these free me cups. So I think I'm just gonna order um, a set of them. They're $60 on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below for you guys as well, but they're just a little bit more discreet. So like, if you really are dedicated to like, you know, breast milking your um, your baby, it just makes it more convenient when you're on the go or super busy and like can't have yourself like hooked up to a wall um, or like, don't necessarily want like the people in the vehicles around you to like see that you have like a giant like Madonna like boob thing sticking out. <laughs> so um, like I said, like these free me cups, like they just like go directly in your bra and then like the tube just like goes down. Super discreet. Um, and then you could even have like your pump in your backpack and just like have the tubes like discreetly like through your sweatshirt or your cardigan and nobody would ever know that you're pumping. Like you could be like walking through the zoo and pumping and nobody would ever know. So. Anyways, um, I think we're gonna get those cups. Again, I'll have them linked down below for you guys so that if you wanna get them, you can try them out. Um, let me know, if you guys get them first, let me know what you feel or how you feel about them or if you've used them in the past, let me know how you feel because like I said, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, but um, I do wanna give it a shot because anything seems better than like having like the full end just like full on stick out and yeah. So anyway, but that was pretty, 
that's pretty nice being able to like pump in the vehicle not being like worried about having to get back home to pump like it just it frees up my life it frees up my schedule a little bit more which is super convenient also i'm finishing the last like few sips of this coffee oh, it's so good okay so first stop of the day is costco and kaya desperately wants me to get her out of the vehicle yes honey i will get you out of the car We'll go. We're gonna go get some groceries, okay? It sound good? Yep. Okay, sounds good to me too. That is a chocolate mustache if I ever did see one. We're going, Mom. <laughs> okay, so we just got back from Costco. I was gonna like try record in there, but it was an absolute zoo. I don't know what I was thinking going on a Saturday. Terrible, terrible mistake. All right, I'm just gonna show you like a quick grocery haul in the middle of this vlog and show you guys what we got at Costco. This is a very typical like springtime, um, like summer haul for us. Again, we eat like healthier in the spring and the summer. What I'm going to do for you guys too, um, I get a lot of questions as to like how I create my meal plan, how I create my meal list and go grocery shopping. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is tomorrow I will be like meal prepping and cooking all the meals for the week and I will record a video on that for you guys and show you exactly how I plan my meals and like how I make my meal list and go grocery shopping off of that. So just today I'm going to show you like what I got and tomorrow I will record a separate video showing you how I healthy meal prep, things like that. Okay, so just like super quick. Um, Cage-free eggs, we go through a ton of eggs, so we got, always get those at Costco. Fresh fruit, Kaya's already dug into these. Um, blueberries, raspberries. I used to get strawberries all the time too, but they don't get eaten up as fast, so um, I've just kind of stuck to these fruits to, um, for the house, for Kaya mostly. Um, two bags of the Skinny Pop, Kaya has the other bag over there, which look, she's like spilled a little on the way. Um, and I opened this one on accident because I dug into it, not realizing she was already digging into it. Clearly, we love popcorn in the house. Um, okay, so this week, a part of our meal planning is we're doing a lot of like sheet veggies um, because Mike's sister um, told us that's how like her and her um, significant other do their vegetables for the week. Seemed super smart to us, so we're gonna give it a shot. Um, so we got Brussels sprouts, green beans, snap peas, cauliflower, um, mini bell peppers, asparagus, um, baby carrots, it comes in like a double pack, and broccoli. So what we're going to do is we're going to do like, um, again, roasted like garlic herb type like sheet pan veggies, um, and then more like a southwest vegetable blend, and then we're just going to intermix it with proteins throughout the week, and then we have some baby potatoes for our carbs, and then we also have basmati rice. I was really hoping to find some like brown and wild rice mix, but they didn't have anything at Costco, and I didn't feel like going to Target like just for rice. So anyway, so we've got baby potatoes right now for carbs. Um, I've got these string cheeses for Kaya um, for a snack because, because she loves string cheese. Um, also, oh, mushrooms too. We love mushrooms, so we'll probably intermix that with our sheet pan veggies as well. Um, and then our favorite butter to get, we try to go as dairy-free as possible now with like me breastfeeding, but um, we love Kerrygold butter. And to go hand in hand with the Kerrygold butter, um, I got this Dubliner cheese. Mike's other sister introduced me to the Dubliner cheese last week, and it was so good, like very rich. Plus we're having friends over tonight, so I thought it would be nice just to like set some cheese out on a tray, snacks, wine, what have you. Um, avocado oil is our go-to, which just like a really quick tidbit on um, oil, cooking oil. There was like a two pack of canola oil, like bigger jugs than this, like two of them connected at Costco for like $7. And then the avocado oil is like $16.99. Just goes to show you like, the unhealthy food is like so much cheaper than the healthy food, but put your food or put your money into like healthy food and then you won't be putting it into health bills later on. That's how we see it anyway. But um, yeah, so anyway, so we got avocado oil. That's our favorite for cooking. Um, Mediterranean sea salt. We were completely out of like shaker salt. Like we've got um, iodized salt. Um, that we will cook with, which is in the cupboard, but this is just for like tabletop salt. Um, and then Montreal chicken seasoning, you guys, this huge thing at Costco is like 5 dollars 
such a good deal and it's good on chicken, vegetables, and pork. Um, and I have a huge bag of chicken in the freezer that I know we'll be grilling this week. So I got it for that and also for these sheet pan veggies that I'll be making and we have um, some pork to cook up this week too. So I thought this would be really good on um, all of the things that we have, um, all the proteins and like vegetables that we have coming up this week. And then this is just one of our staples we get from Costco. It's the organic Drax Cantina salsa. Super good. This is like what I'll have on my scrambled eggs every single morning. And um, I'll toss this like with my um, like burrito bowls I make and things like that. So very good. We got some ribeyes for the week. Um, we find that the meat at Costco is super high quality. We try not to do a ton of red meat. Um, so this is what we have for red meat for um, this week and next week. We usually get about two weeks worth of um, food when we go to Costco. Um, but we do have leftovers in the freezer, which I will show you right after this, like what's in the freezer for proteins too. Um, bacon, because it's bacon. <laughs> So I got a four pack of bacon and then a two pack of pork tenderloins. Um, so what's really good with this is we will do like a balsamic fig glaze on top of the pork tenderloins. Super, super yummy. Um, Mike wants to try like smoking one or grilling one. We'll see. But anyways, that is our protein. So then I also get chicken nuggets for Kaya just because um, it's a really quick, like easy lunch for her. Usually Mike and I aren't too hungry during lunchtime. We just kind of have an iced coffee and like go about our way and maybe have like a little snack. Kaya loves lunch on the other hand. So we just get this like all white meat, no antibiotic pinko chicken nuggets from Costco. Not the super healthiest, but very easy for um, us mamas. So that's what we get for that. We also get paper towels. So like we get our paper towels and like a giant pack from there. And we also get, if you can see over there, we get our laundry detergent from there. This is like the all brand, I think. I usually get Tide free and clear, but this is the all like free and clear um, for like babies and whatever. But it was like $4 off, so it was like $10.99 for that huge thing today. Figured it was worth a shot. Um, anyways, okay, so that's what we get at Costco for like a spring summer haul. Very typical, even when we're camping, because we camp a lot in the summer. We'll get a lot of the same stuff and then like when we're camping, we have a travel trailer. We'll just like foil the stuff up and cook it um, over the stove um, inside or we'll cook it over our mini charcoal grill or over like the fire pit we have. Lots of like foiled veggies. And again, here in the freezer, um, I have a ton of stuff. So we have um, skin on salmon fillets, so good. We have a huge bag of chicken breast that Mike had picked up from Walmart like last week or something when he was getting diapers. Um, shrimp, we have a huge bag of like large shrimp in here still. Um, ground turkey and tilapia. So we still have plenty of protein in here which is why I only got um, steak and pork tenderloin from Costco. And then I do have some baby spring mix already in the fridge, but this is what I will typically have for like a lunch um, if I'm feeling hungry enough. And then like this is what's already in our vegetable drawer. We have a huge bag of zucchini, <laughs> like tons of zucchini in here. Um, and then we can do like zucchini noodles or we'll do like roasted zucchini on like sheet pan veggies as well. Um, and then we've got some leftover mushrooms and asparagus from last week and a bell pepper with ooh, some poblano peppers. Very, very good for like fajita night or taco night. Primo. So I hope that kind of like gives you guys a little bit like more of an idea of like what I'm eating while I'm breastfeeding Especially like while I'm trying to lose weight. I really do. I love watching videos that include like quick healthy eating hauls um, Like being a mama and breastfeeding So I hope that helps you out for maybe shedding a little bit of weight this summer and spring But also trying to keep it like kid friendly This girl loves her popcorn so much Don't ya? Do you love popcorn? Me too. Look at this though, holy crap. I, don't, I think like half of it misses your mouth. What is, and there's, what is that? Really? So popcorn, every, look at that. <laughs> How do you, uh, in the couch too? Kaya, maybe let's go eat our popcorn over here. All right, eating it in the kitchen now. <laughs> and you mister, you just been laying, you mister, you've been laying so nice. So nice. 
Yeah. Him is just a happy boy today, aren't you? Oh, as soon as they see that, you're gonna frown. Hi, puppy. Hi. Yeah, that's a smile. Hi, you're like cricket on your pillow. Oh yeah. He's like getting to one of my favorite ages. He's like, oh, just getting kind of chunky in the cheeks. Look at those blue, blue eyes. Oh, hi, Goo, talking to mommy. You are the cutest baby. Oh, Goo, the cutest baby. How do you not melt? How do you not melt looking at this sweet little face? Oh, Goo. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I get to stare at you all day, handsome boy. Yeah. Are you a handsome boy? <gasps> okay. I'm sure I'm going to get so many comments about my annoying mom voice. My annoying mom voice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my heart. You're so cute. So, plan for the rest of the day now is, well, clean up the popcorn. And um, Mike is downstairs. He's cleaning up the garage finishing some orders which I've had some questions like as to whether or not we have an Etsy shop we do not have an Etsy shop it's just like a Facebook page that we run it's a business Facebook page we run and we get a lot of our orders locally and honestly if we like were to expand outside of our local area we wouldn't be able to keep up because we have so many orders locally right now that it's just not possible for us to expand yet but maybe sometime in the future we will um, but Mike is downstairs and he's doing orders um, and cleaning out the garage. I'm going to clean the house a little bit. I'm going to record a boutique clothing haul for you guys as soon as the mail gets here today. Um, and like show you guys what I've been ordering for like, <coughs> like the springtime in Minnesota for like postpartum body. <coughs> Popcorn curl stuck in my throat. And then I'm going to get ready for some friends to come over tonight because we're having a bunch of our friends over tonight. I'm really excited. We're going to do, well, I'm putting out like cheese and wine and like all the things. So when it starts to like warm up, we want to be more social, like see our friends. And this is our hometown. So a lot of our friends like we went to high school with and yeah, super exciting. We love our friends so much. Anyway, um, okay. I am going to get to bust in here. Yeah, puppy, I am. Okay, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Maybe show like a little bit of my cleaning montage. We'll see. All right. Okay, before I start cleaning though, I need an iced coffee and I need to pump. All the things, I feel like I'm constantly pumping. Okay, iced coffee and then pump and then clean. Let's go. So I just got done pumping um, again and got like four and a half-ish ounces at a time. And that was, this is like almost five ounces. Um, and that was about like three and a half hours in between. I have noticed today that instead of getting like three ounces every two hours, um, I'm getting like four to five ounces every three hours. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe I can start like spreading my pumping apart a little bit since I've like stayed on such a consistent schedule. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys is after I'm done pumping, I will, um, I will usually like rinse out my breast pump parts and like I really like soapy wash them probably twice a day. Um, but then in between I will put them in this bag. Um, it's a quick clean micro steam bag by Medela. I'll show you here in a second. Um, it looks like this and it is a sanitizing bag for your breast pump parts and bottles, binkies. You can put all of it in there. Um, you just add two ounces of water and you put this in the microwave for two to three minutes um, and it steams it and sanitizes it. And in one box, um, I think I got it from Amazon or Target, I can't remember. This is what it looks like. Um, it comes with five micro steam bags and each one can be used 20 times. So there's 100 uses in one of these boxes. Um, it says it is for breast pump and breast milk feeding accessories. Steam cleaning eliminates 99.9% .9 of most common bacteria and germs. 
Ideal for sanitizing on the go, just requires um, microwave and water. I've really been enjoying these sanitizing bags. They've been super awesome. This is not sponsored or anything. This is just one of my favorite products that um, I just discovered in the last week. But yeah, I will leave a link for that down below for you guys so that if you want to snag some, you sure can. But highly recommend it. It's made my life a hundred times easier for like cleaning my breast pump parts. Interesting outfit for the party, huh? What's this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, it is backwards. We're gonna have to get you another outfit. I need to put my laptop away over here. All right, and my breast pump. <laughs> All right, we have people coming over very shortly. Breast pump there. All right. Probably don't need a Minnie Mouse thing for wine night, do we? Here. Look. Kaya's like little PlayStation. All right. Tuck this back in. All right. We've got like a fun little spread here. We've got some like cheese. Should be, should be fun. All right, all that's left is for me to go curl my hair. So I'm gonna go curl my hair, get ready, and enjoy a little bit of a friend's night. I was gonna say girl's night, but everybody's bringing their men with now. So a little bit of a friend's night will be fun. All right, you guys, I am going to wrap up the video there for today. If you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. Leave a comment down below with your favorite spring and summer meal prep recipe, and I will see you guys on Tuesday for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys.